What's up guys? What so, up? So welcome to our vlog channel. Welcome. So we figured since we have a fairly new vlog channel, we'd kind of just sit down, we're gonna do our makeup and get ready and just kind of update you guys and chit chat and just kind of catch <sighs> yeah, up. Because life has been kind of absolutely it's been insane. So, so, it's a so new crazy. year. So many things have been changing lately, and I'm sure like a lot of you, if you've kind of been watching our videos, might be slightly just confused about where we are and what we're happening doing. In life. So let's take it. Let's just take it back a little bit. So um, right now we're in the Santa Clarita area, which is Valencia. in Southern California, if you don't really know. But about three months ago, we moved back down here from Northern California, and we moved in with our two really good girlfriends, and we were staying there for maybe a month and a half. And it just really, it didn't yeah, work so out the really way quick, we thought it would work out. Just like a kind of full on backstory. If you guys are kind of new to us and our channel, my name's Haley. This is Jordan. We're sisters. And, you know, we've kind of just been vlogging and blogging and, you know, doing this for the past like two years. But basically, we're from California. We're from mm -hmm. Southern California. And, you know, we've been kind of trying to do this for like two years now. And, Randomly, about a year ago, we had the opportunity to move up north to Napa Valley, which parent, is like, crazy. Parent trap, if you guys don't know Napa Valley, <laughs> like straight up. And it was a crazy experience, but it was so great because we literally got to learn about wine. Yeah, we worked at one of the most things. like famous wineries in like the world. It's called Chateau Montalena. So if you don't know, look it up. There's a whole movie, Bottle Shop with Chris Pine in it. Check it out. It's actually a really good movie. So randomly, we kind of ended up there from her boyfriend. His family lived up there, and. Um, they were moving back down to Southern California. So they were like, we have a place for you guys to come stay up here if you wanna come stay, try something new. And we were like, honestly, we are trying to do blogging and vlogging so we can kind of work from anywhere. So we just wanted to really pursue it and go up there. And that's what we did for like the past year. Um, and now we're back. And so the reason we were kind of back too is Obviously, yeah. Southern California, we want to do what we do, so we know that there's just so much opportunity out here. Yeah, and it's, it's just, home. It's we always home. planned on coming back. Um, but that's kind of when our best friends, Kaylee and Kim, came in at the time. Um, they have a house down in San Diego, which is a few hours from here. And um, they told us to come stay with them, to move in for a little while, and we thought that things would kind of go a little bit differently. Yeah, but basically it just didn't really work out. Um, just, you know... There was just a, <laughs> there was just a lot of like personal drama that went it like went into it. Not even just between us as friends, but there was just a lot of family drama that kind of came in between things. And where's the brushes? It just started becoming little. way too stressful, especially for like us and our jobs. Yeah, we couldn't really do what we were supposed to be doing because as bloggers, um, you know, you only see what you see on YouTube and on Instagram. But it's a lot of work. A lot. Of, of time goes into it. We have to be in a quiet room, obviously, to be filming what we're filming, and it's really difficult to do that around people who don't understand. Yeah, so it was so, just way too much, so we literally packed up our Jetta again, and we actually have this friend, Justin, which they Thank thought, God for Justin! Um, he lives in the Valencia area, and we're actually from here. We worked at Magic Mountain for a few years, and this is kind of like our little hometown. Mm -hmm. um, so he was like, you know what? Come stay with me, and... Um, Let's figure some shit out. So Yeah, so we've been here for probably a solid month now, maybe like a little over that. Yeah. And I just, it's so much better here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we've been producing a lot more content these past few weeks because we've just had the space, the time, and just the means to really be focusing on doing what we're doing. So it's yeah. been great. So that's kind of uh, the transition period. Um, Christmas actually was intense as heck because this was probably the first oh shoot This was probably the first actually it was it the was first the first Christmas, Christmas that we ever. ever actually spent apart Which is crazy because I was thinking about that and I was like is that even true? But then like really yeah, thinking about it my it really whole is. life. I've never spent a Christmas apart from my sister. So um, I actually my boyfriend still lives up in Napa I met him about a year ago like right when we moved down there and it was pretty much like an instant love situation <laughs> instant love. Um, and he's still living up there right now because he has a really good job up there. So he's just trying to keep that going. And um, so I flew up there literally on Christmas Eve. Alone. Alone. <laughs> Alone. And I don't know if you guys like know me, but like I have like stage eight anxiety. I literally think I have like partial post-traumatic stress disorder and like just OCD. I like overthink everything. Yeah. Um, so I, I was, was so scared. Um, and the airport was freaking insane. I was flying out of LAX, which like, if you guys don't know LAX, it's one of like the biggest airports in Los Angeles. So it was crazy, but I had a really good time. I went for like two days. 
Yeah, Two well, days. she was up north. Me and my boyfriend went to Orange County and just got a hotel because um, we'll probably talk about this more later, but we don't really have um, family, which is kind of crazy. So we had no one to really spend Christmas, Christmas with, with except for each other since, you know, she was leaving up north. Like, I just was with my boyfriend and he was just with me. Yeah, so... Um, we had a great time. Yeah, it was a really good Christmas. I got a lot of... Um, cute little presents thanks babe that was nice of you um but also like it was so frustrating because my flight home i flew home on what was it like two days after christmas i think yeah the day and after christmas the day after christmas actually it was, it was a nightmare so nutty at the airport you guys that my freaking flight was delayed four hours but thankfully i got an email saying that it was delayed four hours like pretty early before i even got to the airport so i was able to like go get lunch and like just hang out Kill and not time. sit at the airport by myself. Yeah, I had to sort of get a hotel room for her because I'm supposed to pick her up like, you know, at seven o'clock from San Diego. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's easy. And then she didn't end up landing until midnight. And I was like, there's no way I could drive yeah, all the way. Yeah, because I was supposed to fly out at like, what, seven? Yeah, you're supposed to Six? get back like at seven. I was supposed to fly out, I think at like 6.30 and my flight literally got delayed to like freaking freaking <laughs> freaking 10 o'clock. Um, so that was kind of intense and it was so scary because I Why think I'm still putting on face makeup um, <laughs> It was so scary because I think it was like the most turbulent plane ride I've ever been on like the literal like light shut down They wouldn't do like any kind of service and like that freaked me out because usually like on the most turbulent plane ever They're like still doing services and like you get still serving drinks wine. and I'm like, oh my gosh so, Like this must be bad. So like that was not really a good situation, but I got home. It was cool um, and then New Year's. What New Year? Like, what did we? Did we even live on New Year's? What did we do? Where were we? Were we here? We're here. We didn't do anything. I don't even think we stayed up till midnight, did we? Honestly, I don't really think anyone did anything for New Year's this year. If you did anything fun or cool, like, let us know. But New, New Year's is just one of those holidays where I don't even like going out because it's, it's just, just too crazy. it's too buck wild, and I like have this phobia of being in really crazy crowds and. I just don't like that. So we did nothing. Yeah. I honestly, I don't even remember. I think we like literally did a face mask and went to bed at like 11 o'clock. I, I didn't even like cheers to a glass of champagne. Did we? We didn't. No, I didn't feel like drinking. I just wasn't into it. Um, plus- We're not big drinkers. Plus Justin was here, right? And he had like work the next day and like- No, he, remember he didn't get home until like- Oh yeah. 12? No, we were just boring. I don't know. Yeah, we didn't do anything. Um, but yeah, we don't really have like many- friends which sounds really weird and it sounds worse than it is it's like why don't you have any friends like what are you a bad person <laughs> but like it's just like I honestly like never really went to high school when we moved out here like we moved around I never really went to college so like you know it's so just if you're looking for a friend in the Santa Clarita area hi hit us up because we need some really good friends um but yeah that pretty much kind of summed up the ending of our year we made a really cool like 2016 rewind video yeah we actually you know 2016 was truly like probably for everyone like a fucked up roller coaster like you know there were some great moments and there were some really bad moments but like 2016 was pretty lit you know looking back at our footage yeah i mean it was such a great year but it wasn't an easy year. It was probably right. the hardest year, but it was, it was the year of best realization, year. we um, keep calling it. Yeah, we actually, we've realized that it was the year of realizations because I actually learned so much. I think I learned probably the most about just myself. Yeah. This past year. Um, and friendships. And just friendships and love. Like, honestly, that was one of the biggest things is I never really knew what love was and what just relationships were and what a good friendship or relationship was. Yeah. So. You kind of just start as you're getting older to like realize all of those things. So that was a huge year of learning for us. So this year we're hoping is a year of traveling in abundance because yes, please. Yes, and if please. you guys are curious, because I'm sure you are, if you're watching us, like you're probably wondering like, what do you do for money? And like, what do you mean you're moving all around the town? And like, where do you work? Yeah, because so, it seems like we have all this money, but literally we don't. We don't. We're really super kind of down and out. But we've been working our entire life. I mean, not our entire lives. I had a full-time job since 18, and Haley's had a almost full-time job since like 15. And we just saved up some money, but not nearly enough money. But we make almost enough to kind of sort of float by with the money that we make off of YouTube and just blogging and doing what we're doing. But it's not an easy, like we're staying with someone. It's not yeah, an easy situation. So well, because we're kind of in the situation too, which I'm sure if you're a millennial and you even want to kind of do what we're doing, you get 
the situation. Um, you know, we want to do a lot of things that you have to have money to do, but we don't have that much money to do them. But if you start doing them, you can actually start making money from it. So, you know, when we started doing YouTube, obviously we weren't making any kind of money and we didn't really start making any kind of money until like this past year. And even then it's just enough to pay our, you know, couple thousand dollars worth of bills a month because mm -hmm. for bills some are reason, no joke you guys we have just racked up so many bills for moving out on our own and getting our own cars and just we've done everything ourselves so yeah you know like Haley said you know when we first moved out our first time we had our own place and we had a two-story townhouse it was super dope we were both working full-time jobs and completely supporting ourselves we didn't have anyone's help financially whatsoever not even like our parents you know our parents didn't help us you know every once in a while my dad would buy me like carl's jr or like That's tacos <laughs> but you know we've never had that kind of help all of the equipment we've bought everything that we've done we've done because we've worked really hard or we've racked up a little bit too much credit card debt so if you guys want to kind of see a video about like how we almost like how to budget yeah um, like how to you know move out and like be a blogger start any type of entrepreneurial career that you want yeah let us know we can film a whole obviously video letting you know about our finances obviously it's really interested. hard and it's not easy and we're probably not in the best place to like be giving advice but this is just our story and this is what we've been doing and we've had to make a lot of sacrifices obviously um right now we can have our own big beautiful home with a full-time job that i was miserable at but honestly, like we, really we don't want to do that and we want to mm -hmm. live our dreams and we're starting to make money from doing this just because we put so much work and effort into doing the things that we do. It's just manifestation. And you know, it all becomes so worth it, but it's not easy. We have to sacrifice like staying with people. We've had to sacrifice eating food. Yeah. Like it's, it's like a rough, you know, a rough life, you know, but it's, it's also been awesome because like Haley said, we're doing what we love. And even though some things are struggle and you know, we're not like doing necessarily what we want to be doing right now traveling and you know having our own place but it's so worth it because i'd rather work my ass off when i'm young that way in the next couple of years i could live the life that i really want to be living there's no point in like partying now and just messing up and not even trying thinking like oh when i grow up when i'm 30 i'll be able to pay for things that's not how it works yeah it's it's really really hard and honestly the truth of it is we probably wouldn't even be able to do it had we not had each other yeah so that's one of that's the biggest really... things is you know we've always had each other to kind of fall back on and we've had a lot of people to help us out like justin like if we weren't able to be here right now i don't even know where i'd be right now we'd be justin. pretty screwed you know so it's all about manifesting things and meeting good people and you know just making sacrifices and because then, <laughs> on top of that we have plans to go kind of be in northern california again at the end of this month just for a little bit but there's seriously like the biggest storm ever right now in northern california like the pictures and the videos that i've been receiving from like our friends up there is seriously like yeah it's, scary. it's so bad like how can't are full on flooding they can't even like leave their houses because of how much literal water is just in the town uh, because there's a lake in the town and the lake is literally like overflowing because of how much it's raining out there and there was also just like a fire that took down that town like a year ago twice so it's not really like soaking in on the water so that's just a sign to me saying like don't go back up north because we were going to go back up there for a couple months just to save money but you know that's just kind of a sign to us so we're just going to keep doing what we're doing and keep believing and keep manifesting and keep fucking working and Hopefully we can get our own place out here because I think I love Valencia. I love Valencia. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been here, but it's honestly just the best suburban town. And it's pretty much, you know, between 30 minutes and an hour from LA, from beaches, pretty mm -hmm. much from everywhere. Like you can freaking go up to the mountains and the snow. Like you can literally live yeah, like in a whole world just in Southern California. It's pretty dope here. So I think that's our next goal is to just save up some money and get into our own place. But another thing that's annoying about that is we had so many like traveling plans coming up. We wanted to go to New York for fashion week. We have LA fashion week. We literally have a list that is this long of just every event that's happening this year that we wanted to be at. Yeah, so we're supposed to be a part of this fashion show in Miami in April. Like there's just so there's much. There's so much going on, especially this year. And this is one of the biggest years that we're actually just starting to see our numbers grow and more people are wanting to work with us. So we're like, shoot, like we just need to all work out in the same way at the same time because I don't want to be paying all this money in rent if I have to figure out how to like travel and stuff, you know, so. Struggle. You know, the struggle is real, but it's fucking great, you guys. It's like we've 
you know, we've never really been in a bad situation, even when it was a bad situation. So I've just always been so thankful for everything we've had. Yeah, you gotta be. But yeah, that's pretty much like what's going on right now in our lives. Um, we have started to vlog um, the past couple days more and more because since we started our vlog channel, we actually want to start vlogging pretty like much weekly, weekly for you yeah. guys. So I think we're going to start vlogging like Monday through Friday, um, maybe Saturday if we're doing something fun and then uploading it on the weekend. So the video might go up on Saturday or Sunday, just kind of depending. And then each one will start again on Monday. So you'll basically see a weekly vlog from us every weekend, essentially. But that's getting crazy. So, um... You know, half the time we might be like laying in bed um, doing dance montages and half the time we might actually be doing a lot of fun things. We have well, a we lot- We do have a lot of fun things. We are going somewhere, what, on the 21st? Yeah, we have- That's gonna be a lot of fun. We have a big event coming up on the 21st and we have a couple of other things coming around the corner too. So if you guys just kind of want to see, you know, a little behind the scenes of our lives, then definitely subscribe to this channel because that's where you're gonna see This it. is where you're gonna see more of the real raw footage um we're completely ourselves on our other main channel it's not like we're gonna act different but this is a channel where we can kind of just do videos like this and just be relaxed and just kind of just be really real with you guys <gasps> oh my gosh i <laughs> know what just really affected my life this past couple days what our show ending oh my gosh yeah so it's no it's no like big news 90210 but like um We've been watching and it. it. Just, I'm sure you guys know this, but it's not the original 90210. It's the reboot with like um, our literal soul sister, Haley. Now, Naomi. 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 Wait, her Clark. real name though is Annalyn McCord. And honestly, she is. I love phenomenal. her. She's phenomenal. There's like no better actress than her in that show. I just relate to her so well. But yeah, we restarted the season um, a couple of weeks ago. Like, I think there's like five seasons There's too. five seasons. And we binge watched and went through literally the entire thing and it ended the other night and it was so traumatic to us that we didn't even want to watch the last episode because we were like, We can't, can't and then over. it's gonna be over. Um, but it sucks because we miss that show and just other shows like that and there's just really like nothing like that anymore, like a Gossip Girl type of vibe. And there was really only like those two shows. I mean, like there was obviously like Melrose Place and like, one Tree Hill, but like that was still like years no, ago. No, I love 90210 because it's a show about people who honestly, they're a bunch of young entrepreneurs and yeah, they have money because they live in Beverly Hills, but they're doing what they want to be doing and they have the means to be doing it. And like, if something doesn't work out, they're like, that's okay. Like we'll do something else. And obviously because they have the money, they're able to do it. But like, we all should have the money to be able to do whatever we want. If you want to open a bar, if you want to be an event planner, if you want to write a book, you should be able to do whatever you want. And it's so funny because they're like 16. And I know, they're like, like, are you even allowed to own a bar? Liam, you're 20, but like, I guess that's Hollywood for um, you. But it's just so, it's actually just really inspiring because it's like, you don't see that often, that often. And when you do, it's like Vanderpump and like, don't get me wrong, like Vanderpump's my shit, but like, you know, no offense, it's just a bunch of sloppy drama, but um, I would like to see the real 90210. That's actually yeah. what we've been talking about is like, where's that real show? That's like real life 90210, right? Yeah. Like, we wouldn't love to watch that. So that was a traumatic event. It did end for us the other night. So now we're looking for a new show. So if you guys have any recommendations on a show or if you know any other shows that are kind of like Gossip Girl and like 90210, but not like- Oh, there was a bomb show called Lipstick Jungle. Oh, and for some I don't reason, even think like anyone knew about that show No one knew too. about it, but like it only lasted, I think one or two, maybe even three seasons. Three. It wasn't nearly long enough. And that show was a bomb because they were a little bit older women living in New York and they were entrepreneurs. They like owned a magazine, a production company. And like, you know, it was like, that's the kind of show I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, it was almost like a sex in the city type of show, but just- different you know right. so i really have been like into that so if you guys have any like good recommendations like that yeah so pretty much finished i think i'm just gonna put a little bit of lip on i didn't want to like go too crazy today because we're just gonna go run some errands and probably like go get an oil change and go get lunch and stuff and um, we might meet up with our dad later too what up dad um, um so i'm putting on some of this this is probably like my favorite lip of all time well liquid lip um this is the ofra um, liquid lipstick in the color mocha. I want to, what am I going to do? You know what I've been like on lately? I mean, I'm always on liquid courage, but I've been on this lately. This is the, um, pure royalty collection with Jade. 
and this is in the color cake and it's just like the perfect color it's like the exact you can barely even notice i'm wearing it and that's why i love it so much because it just it's like the perfect lip shade you know yeah that's like how this one is like you can't even really see what i'm putting on because it almost matches my lip color exactly like it's good here i am keep going all right I think I'm like almost ready. I gotta do something with my hair. I actually might even leave my hair. Ugh, I love this lipstick. All right, so that is basically our update in a huge giant nutshell. Uh, I have no idea how long this video is going to be because <laughs> we've probably sat here for like we three hours. Way too so long. hopefully we can condense that into something that makes sense for you guys. But, but basically we're going to be uploading vlogs on this channel every single week. Sometimes maybe even more depending on what we're doing. Exactly. There's a lot going on. You might even see two or three. Especially we'll because this year already has probably going to be one of the most traveled years for us. Yes. There's so many things planned, you guys. Yes, so, so many. Actually, this weekend, I think. Is it this weekend? Mm -hmm. This weekend. This weekend, we're going to Supercross in Anaheim. We're so excited. We're such huge fans. We've gone so many times. But if you guys want to see our whole adventures there, stay tuned for that vlog because that one, I think, will be next, right? Yeah, Maybe. so we're super, super excited. Like we said, we're going to be vlogging every single week, and I think we're going to just do it like week per week and upload every weekend. Exactly. So if you guys are really excited, then subscribe to this channel because And if you guys really like excited. seeing our vlogs, let us know in the comments below so that way we know to keep making them for you guys. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for today. We're probably going to go run some errands, and you can catch that vlog next. And also, I know our lives are really confusing, and it's hard to answer you guys' questions, but if you guys have any like specific questions, for us or you know just in yeah, general maybe we can even film like a Q&A so if you guys have like she said specific questions about life what we're doing where we're going what money we have, whatever it is, anything what kind of makeup we wear I don't know like let us know in the comments below and if we have enough questions we'll film a Q&A for you guys yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you guys next time bye